Welcome back to Street Smart. Investment advisor and portfolio manager Mark Faber has made some very big accurate calls in the past. Earlier I asked him where he thinks the global economy and markets will be one year from now. I mean, I think within a one year, the Chinese economy will perform poorly. poorly. In other words, that will have a recession. A recession and in China? Yes. Uh, whereby, you know, a recession in China could be a technical recession. If you go and slow down from a growth rate of, say, 10% to a growth rate of 3%, there is a recession. Right. And also, I don't believe in the growth figures that China publishes, because if you had adjusted nominal GDP for the true rate of inflation, mm -hmm. then real growth is, of course, much slow slower. But, you know, I want to tell you something that disturbs me in all emerging economies and in many other developed economies. For my taste, in front of luxury hotels, there are far too many Ferraris, Maseratis, Bentleys. Sign of the peak that is not what? a good sign. You know, you should see depression when conditions are depressed. I see a boom everywhere. A boom everywhere. Yeah, except for the working class and except for the lower middle class, but among the well-to-do people. The wealth that is floating around and the prices you pay for high-end properties is incredible. And I think that will come to an end and a lot of people will lose a lot of money. And so I'm ultra careful at the present time. You know, it's interesting in your report, you, you talk about, I'm going to read right from it, Americans have been watching protests against oppressive regimes that concentrate massive wealth in the hands of an elite few, yet in our own democracy, 1% of the people take nearly a quarter of the nation's yes. income, and in inequality, even the wealthy will come to regret. So you're saying we're watching everything that's happening in the Middle East, yet it's right here. Yeah, I was the other day in La Jolla and Newport Beach, Laguna Beach, and you see, I mean, I was in front of a restaurant smoking. i never seen so many Ferraris and Maseratis and Bentleys and, you know, fancy cars anywhere in the world. Right. And this is in America. I'm not saying this is wrong. I'm not here a social observer. But I'm just saying, basically, there is an opulence among a group of people that is huge. A small group of people. A very small, very small, mm -hmm. not even 1%. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of people that are struggling. And I think this some, that gives me a bad feeling because I've seen so many emerging economies when they were in boom conditions. That was the time to get out. And uh, we had a huge run in asset prices, you know, from the lows in March 2009 until recently. I don't think they'll continue to go up a lot. I rather think that QE2 will come to an end, that we'll have a correction, mm. and then we'll have more money printing, but it may not help the economy at all. I hate to bring it up, but yes. I want to bring it up with you in terms of the fiscal position here in the United States. Yes, You've been very vocal. It's a catastrophe. <laughs> I mean, you, it seems like everybody comes on and says nothing's going to be fixed here, but it's, it's going to have to be fixed. Well, ultimately, something's going to... Ultimately, gonna... it will be fixed when you have a crisis. But what is that crisis? Uh, David Stockman was on with us this week, yes. and he said we need maybe a financial 9-11. Um, to make the folks in Washington come together in terms of dealing with our deficit and our debt ceiling and, and getting spending and taxes. I mean, is that what we need? Well, I think it will be worse. I think what will happen is that these deficits will stay very high and that they will lead to very high inflation rates most likely hyperinflation, not tomorrow, mm -hmm. but over time. All I can say is, I, as you said, I, I travel a lot and I am surprised that the U.S. can publish a consumer price index that is, say, 2% when everything I see is up significantly in price, not a little bit, significantly. Mm -hmm. And so I think here the rate of inflation has to be closer between 5 and 10 percent, and in my opinion, closer to 10 percent and 5 percent. And elsewhere, I also see prices going up substantially. And so the potential for high inflation is actually there, because look, if the U.S. goes into recession, what will happen to tax revenues? They'll collapse. Mm -hmm. They'll collapse. Yeah. Then the deficit goes up automatically, and that has to be financed with money printing. I love so Mr. Bernanke will be very busy. <laughs> Right. I love talking to you, and but you say things like, if the U.S. goes back into a recession, I mean, are you betting that it is? Is it a 60% well, chance? Well, for sure, is, uh, the economy right now is slowing down. 
Although when you walk on the street in New York City, it's like mm. a boom town. Right. But in manufacturing, it's definitely slowing down. And uh, employment is unlikely to pick up substantially because who wants to hire people with is, so many the regulations? But it is picking up. Yeah, it a is little better. bit. A lot yeah. of the statistics are better. Yes, but you have to see also what kind of jobs are picking up. You know, mm. low-paying jobs and so forth, and temporary employment. But I agree with you. But part of it is if you lower the value of your currency, and you inject trillions of dollars into the economy through money printing right. then that drops that dollar bills these dollar bills drop and then they stimulate the economy for a while but not permanently one last quick question so a safe haven in terms of an investment is it that depressed real estate is that what you say people should well, do or I, what? I think it won't move up but it's not something that will collapse by another 99 percent you know tech stocks <laughs> as you know there's some of it them can't have, go much further they, down they, they, they went saying. down 90 percent i think real estate isn't gonna go down a lot I think that in Asia you can still buy a portfolio of equities that would give you a dividend yield of say around 5%. I think they'll go down, mm -hmm. but at least you have the 5% cash flow with which you can invest. And I think that fixed interest securities, a lot of corporate bonds and treasuries near term for the next three months are okay.